This is a brief demonstration of active slot balancing, which is a Moose script that provides dynamic AI spawning depending on what client slot you take on a multiplayer server. Here I've got a, a list of uh, clients. Each one I select will spawn uh, a specific enemy uh, in response. And the reason this is useful is perhaps if you play a lot of multiplayer, uh, you may have noticed that some of your friends then turn up and you haven't scaled your game to uh, have the correct units and there's nothing you can do about it when the mission runs. So I'm just going to demonstrate some of this here now. I'm spawning in an F5. I'm going to run the script because I working on it separately and there's a lot of debugging messages so ignore those for the time being. I'm spawning the F5 what happens is I get an L39 spawn here. Now that's all very well and good and let's speed up time a bit here. What happens if uh, your cap is or, or your players that are providing cap have suddenly left the mission and all of a sudden you're stuck with your A10 and you can no longer defend yourself. Well, let's demonstrate this by taking another slot. Uh, I'm going to take uh, an A10C that has a CAS roll. We'll watch what happens to the mission. Here I'm in the A10. And we see that fighter that was on the ground has despawned. And the A10 has got his relevant mission here. Uh, and this CAS mission is to destroy some very low uh, d air defense, uh, non air defense targets. I'm going to jump around the slots here and we'll see how these change. So let's take a Mirage 2000. I've tiered the fighters so that. As a relevant fighter that will spawn based on what you've picked from your slot. So we see F5 here now spawning at the data, not the L39s. So simply by that, depending on what slot you're picking, uh, depends on what sort of content you're going to get inside the mission. Let's go through them all. Um, I've just provided a, a variety of different types of slots. This particular one, I'm going to be the only player in a, a Vigan. And this will spawn ship targets. And because there are no fighters in the game, the fighters will either RTB or if they're on the ground, they'll despawn. So here we are in the cockpit of the Vigan. Let's check the F10. We see the fighters despawn. And we get ships up here. So what we've got is thoroughly dynamic content based on what slot you're taking, uh, which allows you to have a lot more freedom. Um, if there was still uh, a Vigan in slot, the, the ships would remain. Let's pick, I've got a, a rough seed one here, air defense targets in the A10. So as long as you're still in the same slot, it's not going to hurt you. Uh, to have things despawn because they won't do it if unless somebody's not there. So it's like a, a, a way of dividing up the, the mission. And this way you can also have different types of planes. So for example, you can put warbirds in here, put them in a corner of the map and have only warbirds uh, spawn against them so that you don't get uh, ridiculous scaling. What this allows you to uh, do is have scaling within a mission, within a multiplayer mission, depending on who and which slots and roles are actually taken. Thank you.